Let's see how my opinion has changed on Toon Boom Harmony after years of using it. Yes, it's essentials. Because I'm too cheap to buy the premium or advanced versions. So Toon Boom Harmony Essentials. So I, I actually moved from Adobe Animate to Harmony and I don't find any features lacking. But then again, Adobe Flash sucked, so <laughs> what do you expect? Um, yeah, I quite like Harmony. There's, there's things that Flash didn't have like, going off tangent again, um, like bone rigging. I assume you already know all this. It has bone rigging, so you couldn't do that in Flash. So it was like something that you'd only dream of in Flash. So it's quite a hard transition to make because you're like, oh, I don't know how the hell any of these new features work. Or why when I copy this frame over here and then edit it. Oh, no, it's changed this frame over here too. So it's one of those things where it's it's not lacking, but if you use Adobe Flash, you will think it's lacking for a while until you learn it. Hopefully that answered your question. <laughs> I love Toon Boom though, it's great. Even Essentials. Though, though if anyone from Toon Boom are listening, you can, you, can, you know, upgrade me to Premium if you want. <laughs> Hey Toon Boom, if you want if you want to sponsor me, you you can do it. And that offer is still open, by the way, because I still think Harmony is better than Flash. It's not perfect, but I think that as an animation experience, it's pretty good. So let's just put up Toon Boom Harmony on the screen and let's just ramble about things that I like and don't like. One of the things I mentioned in the stream, which wasn't uh, very well planned out, let's say, is the difference between frames versus you know, uh, drawings, I believe they're called in Harmony. Uh, I'm not properly trained, this face sad. But, so let's say I draw, let's just say number one, number two, number three, number four. And then I go copy that number three over here and go, oh, actually, no, that needs to be number 57. If I go back to that number three now, it's changed that frame. So those drawings are linked. And this is something I see a lot of beginners screw up. So what you have to do if, if I put that back to three, you have to. One of these button is yeah, duplicate drawing. If you click that, now any changes I make, fifty-seven. They're no longer linked after you've clicked that duplicate drawing button. You can see them in there. One, two, three, four, fifty-seven. So that's one thing. That's what I mentioned in the video. It's one of those things where. If you're not aware, it's going to screw you up. But it's much better in terms of, let's say, you're rigging a character or you want to have a loop where you have you know, one frame there and, you know, goes up here, across there, and you want it to return to that frame again. Oh, whoops. Let's say you want to return to that frame again. And you go, actually, you know, I wanted to start here instead then you know the thing will always loop because it's going from that frame and it's ending on that frame as well so it's just it's nice to have things like bone deformers i think flash has started to get bone deformers back after they removed it and broke it but you know it's still not it's still not up to the level of harmony obviously this is premium so this has better features but you know the default version is still better than flash from what i've seen so you have Essentials, which is just the basic version that rivals Flash, which is still cheaper than Flash from what I recall. And it's pretty decent. Obviously you are lacking features, like um, you're lacking bitmap layers in the Essentials version, so that's one feature which I would go, okay, maybe worth going for Advanced or Premium, but that's a bit of a jump in terms of price. The drawing tools, though, are much better than much better than flashes. You can see it's it's just right. Like even even the default brushes just work compared to flash, where it's eh, not very good. Let's just do that. 
it, it's it's just perfect the drawing tools and then you have all your textured brushes if you want uh, let's just pick one pick one for an example charcoal let's say you can also have that in the pencil tool as well the pencil tool actually works in here which is you know a surprise especially going from flash to Toon Boom where the pencil tool actually can be used it has that drawing view which is just very nice to get out of the way and do things having dedicated peg layers is just so much of an improvement obviously I can't just create a peg like that in premium I need to do it in here but it just takes all the confusion out of where your layer is positioned. You just draw it right in the first place, like that, and then set your pivot point, and then you can just you can just change it. I don't know. You might go. Actually, no. I really hate that motion. Just put your motion on there. Magic. And it goes back to the start. It's just perfect in every way no messing around with symbols or you know, trying to figure out what's wrong having proper swatch palettes is nice because in flash they're a bit broken like Toon Boom is a pain in the ass where let's say you, you've done a huge image yeah, let's just do that and you go actually no I want to select yeah, let's, just, let's just draw a bit better hang on In Flash, you're just able to go uh, select the color tool and just go Ooh. select the color tool and just go whap, and it works. It selects the color, but it's not a swatch tag. So at least in Toon Boom, it forces you to select the color like that, which okay, it's a pain in the ass, but still better than not having a tag swatch in the first place. Having displays, that's neat, and there's a lot of things in the preferences which I don't even touch. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, do you even need all of this stuff? I could, I could go on for hours about features of Harmony, but I'd rather do separate videos talking about how I would use each feature. But the point of this is just to say that there's a bunch of little things that it does better than Flash. And if you are if you actually care about animation, then not using Flash is going to be the first step into becoming any better at it. Because Flash is just broken in every single way. Harmony for all of its little quirks and all of that. Uh, like, you know, having that render view, that's weird. Not having, the, wor the worst part about Harmony is not having proper snapping tools, so I can't center something in the middle of the screen. That's a bummer. I, I still use Flash for, like, if I need to do something quickly in Vector. So, al although it's not perfect, it's missing a few things, it's an improvement over Flash, which is just a buggy, broken mess. I'm going to create different videos talking about each of the features of Harmony, but for now... I just wanted to give a brief, quick update on what I think is so great about Harmony, which is all of those features that are designed to actually allow you to animate rather than, you know, just being broken. Thanks for watching all that YouTube stuff. Check out my Discord in the description. Check out the social media. Until next time, goodbye.